You are warmly welcomed on SLTV Lab. Hello ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome once again on SRA TV Lab. Today I would like to show you how to determine cardiac axis with your eyes or visual cardiac axis determination. At the end of this we will see how to know if QT interval is normal or not. You remember what cardiac axis is? You remember it is the direction of ventricular depolarization. So there is what we call a normal cardiac axis, there is what we call abnormal. Abnormal may either be left axis deviation or right cardiac, I mean right axis deviation. It can also be severe right axis deviation. So with your eyes we are going to see how to estimate the cardiac axis, de I mean deviation. So it's understandable. Visually, you can't know 100% the, I mean, cardiac axis deviation, but simply you can estimate. Then QT interval, you know the interval is the wave and the what? A wave and a segment. We call it the interval. So we will see QT interval. What QT interval is? When do we say that QT interval is normal or abnormal? So we we'll not go into details maybe to tell you if it is this it indicates this disease or if it is like that it indicates this disease. No, simply we are going to see. I mean to conclude whether it is normal or abnormal. So enjoy it. I would like us to see visual cardiac axis determination or how to determine cardiac axis visually just with your eyes. Then we are going to see QT interval. Good. Let's start with visual determination of the cardiac axis. This is what we are going to start with. Then we'll see QT interval at the end of this. So the first thing to look at is determine in which limb lead, you know, six limb leads, where the total amplitude of QRS is smallest. Just with your eyes, you see out of the six limb leads, which one has the smallest total amplitude of QRS. So after determining the limb lead where QRS amplitude is smallest, you should know that the electrical axis of the heart is practically perpendicular to that lead. So at the end we are going to see the deviation degree of every limb lead. In order to know the deviation of the electrical axis considering the deviation of every limb read. So another step is now determine in which limb read the total amplitude of QRS is the greatest. Remember for the first part it was the amplitude of QRS which is smallest. Now it's the greatest. Now you should know that the electrical axis is practically parallel to that read. So electrical axis is parallel to the read or the rim lead with the greatest QRS amplitude. And it is practically perpendicular to the read where QRS amplitude is the smallest. Now what will just come at the end is by comparing observation in different limb reads then you will do what? You will approximate the electrical axis of the heart. 
you can't be a hundred percent accurate but you may approximate the electrical axis of the heart just by visually comparing the different reads now let's see the direction of every limb lead and those directions of the different leads are as follow let's start with the unipolar limb leads avl is minus 30 degrees now avr is minus 150 degrees then avf is 90 degrees let's go to bipolar limb leads lead one is zero degree read 2 is 60 degrees then read 3 is 120 degrees those are the deviation or the direction of every rim reads let's see the second topic which is QT interval QT interval actually is from the beginning of QRS complex to the end of T wave. Is that clear? From the beginning of QRS complex to the end of T wave. That is QT interval. So what you should know first is that the duration of QT interval depends on the heart rate. That is first. Then compare QT interval with R R interval cause R R interval is the is the one that determine the heart rate therefore you have to compare QT interval with R R interval then the conclusion is when you see QT interval being lower than 50% of R R interval then conclude that QT interval is normal is that clear? So if it is higher than 50%, know that it is, it is what? It is abnormal. But when it is inferior to 50% of RR interval, know that QT interval is normal. Thank you for watching the video. I hope it's very helpful. So please don't keep this information just with yourself. Share this information to your colleagues and see you in another video next time. May God bless you, Abangatri. Please support this channel by placing like, subscribe, and the bell. This is a huge support for this channel. May God bless you.